friends, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another Guess the Recipe! Inside this box are a bunch of random ingredients that make some sort of recipe, and I have to try to guess what that recipe is. And now, it is time to open the box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little whiff here. Is that white wine? Yes, that is white wine indeed. Don't worry guys, I'm over the age of 21 and this is totally responsible. <laughs> so we have like a white liquid and a dark brown liquid. I think this is coffee. Give it a little whiff. It is, wow, that, whew, that is strong. Garlic, chocolate, an onion, Okay, I like have not seen this weird of ingredients ever. The first thing that I wanna do is categorize the ingredients into like what makes sense together. So olive oil kinda goes with the steak, I think. White wine, I know some people cook steak with like wine sometimes, like in a wine sauce. So I'm gonna put that over here. Onion with the steak and then chocolate over here and bacon can go with the steak. Sometimes things are like bacon wrap. I think I have an idea. Let's try it out. So obviously I can't just like do anything with a full onion. So I guess my first thing would be to mince the onion. Okay, so we're gonna add this onion straight into this food processor. And then the best part about this process is it's quick, it's easy. If you have a food processor, this is the way to do it. I'm gonna pulse this until it gets nice and minced. Literally, that was two pulses. You see how easy that was? Okay, I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of butter. Okay, so we're going over medium high heat. We're gonna let that butter simmer. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is make some sort of bacon wrapped steak drizzled with some kind of chocolate, white wine, heavy cream sauce. It's funny because I've heard of all those sauces individually, but never together. So we're gonna put in about four teaspoons of this minced onion. And we're just gonna saute this for one minute. We're getting a little fragrance. This is probably equivalent to about half a glass of white wine. I'm a little freaked out by the onion and the heavy cream. I know heavy cream on its own though isn't really that sweet. So this is just kind of gonna make like a creamier, thicker sauce. It's kind of like a fettuccine Alfredo would have heavy cream in it. Yeah, we're basically making like a creamy wine sauce with a little bit of onion in it. I'm actually not scared of that at all. I am scared of combining the onion and the chocolate. I'm gonna let that cook for about 12-ish minutes. All right, so while we're letting our wine cream sauce cook over here for about 10 more minutes, I'm gonna start prepping my T-bone steak. It's pretty thawed by now. I did some research to make sure that like baking can't cross contaminate with this because obviously you don't want to mix raw meats. But I did find out that because bacon is cured, it can't cross contaminate with other raw meats. So that is a good thing. Also, that does not mean that you should eat it raw. So please don't do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to wrap this bacon. It's not peeling apart. Woo, she's a chef now. And I'm just gonna like slightly overlap my bacon. I'm just gonna give this a little stir over here real fast. It's turning out kind of nice actually. We got six minutes left on the clock over here. So now we have another pan. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil. I like my steak like a medium, medium well temperature. So I'm aiming for about 165 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna place it on the tiny pan. Okay, perfect, we got 25 seconds left on that clock now, it's 18, 17, 16, perfect. I'm gonna put three half teaspoons or a teaspoon and a half of garlic, minced garlic in here. Now we're gonna add in some salt and some pepper and about an ounce of chocolate. And we're just gonna put in our espresso as well. I have no idea how this is gonna taste, folks. So this is an interesting, I'm just gonna literally let this, ah! Okay, now it's happening. Let's try to flip this puppy. Oh, no, 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 okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, not bad. We're gonna use tongs, okay? 
today, we're gonna run a little taste test on this. So it's kind of giving me like a gravy feel. It really scares me so much. Okay, moment of truth. Actually, wait! That tastes like gravy. Wow, I'm actually so impressed. I'll come back to y'all when it's finished cooking. Okay, we have reached an internal temperature of about like 151, 152 degrees, depends on where I put it. This is at 160, so that's really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat for this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this T-bone steak into the sauce. I'm gonna turn this back on to about medium heat. All right, we're so close to being done. This actually looks amazing. It smells amazing. It literally tastes like the, the gravy that my grandma makes for like Thanksgiving. All right, I'm gonna say this is done. Let's go ahead and plate it. I'm gonna go for like an edge piece just to be safe. I'm like very, very, very weird about my steak. With the final product, there's our gravy sauce, okay? Time for the bite. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Can somebody say dinner? Can we just like excuse my lack of manners for a sec? Ooh, yes! That is so good. Okay, that tasted absolutely amazing. Now let's find out what I was supposed to make. I have the text right here on my phone. Steak in chocolate and coffee sauce. That. The only thing that looks a little different is that they pan fried the bacon after they pan fried the steak and then they like crushed it up and sprinkled it on top of the steak and then added the sauce. I bacon wrapped the steak and then like kind of cooked it in the sauce a little bit. So we did a few different things in the ways that we cooked it, but it should be all the same flavors. So. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I so, so, so enjoyed making it for y'all. And if you enjoyed watching it, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button for more fun cooking videos and more fun cooking challenges. I think I won this challenge. Let me know in the comments if you think so as well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!